Hey guys, welcome back to the Masochist Challenge. Shout out to Simo for creating the challenge. Guys, we're jumping right into it. We have no time to waste today. We need three wins to get us to gold one. Let's get going, guys. Guys, if you like this content, you like the Masochist Challenge, hit the like button right now. If you guys aren't subscribed and uh, you keep coming back, just subscribe now. Get it over with. You know what I'm saying? Just do it. Hit the bell, and that way you'll be notified every single time a video drops as it drops. Guys, let's get right into our first duel here. We got a lot to accomplish today. We got to get the Platinum. It's the final week for the season. We got to get the Platinum. That way when we reset, we're just back in gold. That's what we want. I'm tired of restarting in silver. So... It looks like we're playing a 60 card blue eyes deck player. That is quite interesting considering the amount of potential bricks. Jerigetto in the hand, interesting. All right guys, well, we already know what we gotta do. We're going to bring out the Cyber Dragon. Uh, let's see, let's th think about this for just a hot second. Um. Let's, mm. let me think, let me think. That comes out at, at that, that's two, we do that, that's two more, that's just breaking even. We go into a seven, that's not enough. All right, we gotta go into the drill fish. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Go into the battle. <clears throat> we swing. Just like that. Activate this. Pop the alternative white dragon here. There he goes. It's going to activate to bring out the jet, of course. It's really annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, we're going to activate this here. We're going to bring out the Jirigetto. We're going to go to main two here, guys. And let's do it for the very first time, bringing out Nightmare Unicorn. Let's go. Let's pop this jet, get it off the field. What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the Torrential Tribute. We're going to send this back to the deck. Of course, he's got to have the Effect Veiler. Are you out of your mind? 60 card deck, he's got to have the Effect Veiler. That is absolutely bogus. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, it is what it is. Let's keep going. End phase. Not much we can do. He had to have the jet in hand. He had to have the effect veiler in hand. That is absolutely absurd. Absolutely lucky, this guy. But what can we do? We can't really do all that much. Here comes another alternative dragon. There goes our unicorn, unfortunately. Not much we can do about it. And at this point, we probably aren't going to make a comeback unless we draw something absolutely insane. He's going to go into the number 97. Obviously, detach the Jet Dragon. That way, he can use its effect in Graveyard. If it's triggered, he's going to bring out the number 92. All right. All right, all right. Dimension Slice is not going to cut it, guys. I think we're just going to pack this one up already. We'll just, we'll call it right there. It's fine. All right, guys. Lost a coin flip. Going second. That's where we want to be anyway. We have, of course, our new Harpies Feather Duster in our opening hand. This card is definitely the best card we've ever pulled. I mean, we've had some really good ones. Nightmare Unicorn is still up there. I mean, we have drawn some really good cards. So, but this definitely takes the cake for sure. He's activating Lubelion in hand. What is this guy up to? That's the question. He's going to bring the Druid Swarm to hand. All right, I, I can dig that. Druid Swarm, again, one of our other better cards that we've ever drawn for this challenge. He's going to banish the Lubelion to bring out the Magma Hut. 
All right. He's going to tribute the Magma Hut. What is he? What is this guy playing? I mean, he's got Bistials, but what else is he playing? What's he tributing for? The Druid Swarm. Okay, that's odd, but okay. Sure. I guess it is the better card to have on the field, because if we get rid of it, he can pop one of our cards. I get it. I get it. Bringing out the ball, Drake. By banishing, of course, the Magnuma Hut. And, and he's going to activate a Glacial Spiral Dragon. Okay, a Galactic Spiral Dragon. Um, this guy's just popping off. It's insane. Okay, he's making all of them level 8. He's probably going into some Galaxy Eyes stuff. That's what I'm going to, as of now, start guessing. That's what he's playing. He's built some weird Galaxy Eyes Neo-centric deck. Nope. What in the world is that? Divine Dragon Knight. Okay, okay. Thalgrand, alright. It's an, not something you see every day. <laughs> All right, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let's see here. Cyber Dragon. Dragoonity. Okay, I can see I can see some plays that we could do here for sure. For sure. What does this thing have? Is this does this thing have like a quick effect? No, no quick effect there. All right. Um we're going to set this here that way we can get that online, but First, let's do some calculations. No, our best play here is definitely to bring out the Cyber Dragon first. Apparently he has some sort of hand trap in response. He's probably got like a maxi, that wouldn't surprise me. Uh, we are going to special summon out the Mech Knight for defense purposes, of course. And then we're going to bring out our Dragoonity. And we are going to, of course, go into Red Dragon Archfiend. That is just the best play that we've got right now. we got to swing over them. There we go. There's our boy. Let's get swinging, guys. Of course, the problem is, is this. Well, there goes that. That's all right. No big, no big deal there. You know, it, he he sacked his own creature to get rid of us. It is what it is. But we still have a very good defense creature on the board. That way, he is not swinging into our life points anytime soon. Unless he has a different way of popping it off the board, which he very well may have a way of doing it. We're not holding our breath here. That's for sure. All right, he is linking away, going into Striker Dragon. Okay, well done. That's that's gonna probably pop off into something bigger. Add a boost sector launch to the hand, activating the Black Metal Dragon Engrave. All right, what's he up to? What's he gonna do? He's gonna get the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. And of course, he's going to get his boost launch card all right he's going to activate the boost launch he's going to banish to bring out the red eyes darkness metal dragon activate the spiral dragon to bring it out from the grave Alright, bring out his Rocket Recharger, 
activating Red Eyes Darkness Metal to special summon. He's going to get the Druid Swarm. We are definitely not activating that. That would be absolutely pointless right now. He's got to somehow get rid of... He's got to get rid of his Druid Swarm to pop our creature. That's that's what he's trying to figure out how to do. All he's got to, I think all he's got to really do is link climb a little bit. There it is. Let's see what he brings out. The Boral Sword Dragon. All right. Well, his problem still remains that he can't get past our, I mean, no, he should be able to activate the Druid Swarm, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. It's fine. All right. Let's see what he can do. Guy's kind of taking a bit of time. <laughs> All right. Swinging with the Darkness Metal Dragon first. He still has some sort of response on his side of the field. Whether it be in his hand or graveyard. I don't think he's got anything else in his graveyard. What could he possibly do? I don't know. Alright, let's see here. He swings with the Boral Sword. That brings us down to 2-2. Two, two. We can definitely pop his entire field from there. But should we wait is the question. I don't think we wait. I think we pop it with the Ferret Flames after he attacks us. The Boral Sword. Get rid of his stuff. That way he's down so many cards. We don't know what's in his hand. I'm hoping it's like something that he sets that we can Harpies Feather Duster away. Then pop his board. All right. Excellent. But we do need we do need a really fire card to, to draw from here. All right, Ferret Flames firing off. There's nothing he can do about it. Unless he's got an effect veiler or something. That'd be really, really just out of the ballpark here. All right, the board has been cleared. We have a straight shot to him. Set that card, set that card. Nope, he's not setting the card. That's unfortunate. Is what it is. Do 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 Buster. All right. Um, doesn't honestly help us all that much right now. We're gonna special summon out Photon Thrasher. We are going to Harpy's Feather Duster this. I don't want that there at all. All right. We go to battle. We swing for 21. Let's go. End turn because that's all we got. Can we make the comeback? Brick. Just straight up brick. Straight up brick. That's all we need. <sighs> really with the black metal dragon. Of course, he's going to link it away. Be able to activate that. All right, banishing that to probably bring out his darkness metal once again. Of course, he's just got to have another monster in his hand. <laughs> Bringing out the Rocket Recharger. Activating Raigeki. That is going to be the game, unfortunately, guys. Let's get to the next one. All right. We lost the coin toss. Going second. Here we go. What are we playing? 15 and above 40. All right. We have a pretty decent hand. We have the Druid Swarm. We have two of our tuners. 
that's at least something for us to, to think about here. We can go into our level 9 Croco Dragon. Um, unfortunately, we, we do need like a generic level 10. If we ever pull the Baron to Fleur, holy cow, we would be set. We would be pushing Platinum like crazy if we drew Baron. So we have such easy ways of just synchroing to, to level 10s these days. <clears throat> what do we got here? Virtual World. Oh, that's lovely. All right, well, we'll see what we can do against Virtual World. Summon one pass. Okay. Um, half counter. All right. Well, at least we're getting some good, some good trap here. Some good traps. What is that? That's that. Uh. Well. It's an Earth monster too. All right. We'll we'll bring out the Delta Flyer. We'll go to battle. There we go. Main two. Broken line in the middle. We'll set this here, and we'll set half counter here. All right, that's that is what we got going on right now. So far, we're ahead, but not by much. We'll see what he does as a response. All right. All right, he's setting one in the back row here. Does he do anything else? That's the real question. He's just going to bring out another one of the virtual worlds. I don't know why, though. It's kind of weird. Going into battle? That doesn't make any sense. Are we fighting a bot? We could be fighting a bot, but I've never seen a bot play virtual world cards before. All right, but you know we'll take it. We'll whatever, whatever. I don't know. It could be part of this dude's strategy, needing two things in the graveyard or something, or a bunch of things in the graveyard to do stuff. I have no idea. I have rarely fought Virtual World. I really don't know too much about the deck, apart from uh, it's one extra deck monster, the Shin Shin. But all right, main two, and all right, that's fine. It's fine with us. Scrap Beast, good card. So we're just going to have to play it. We're going to have to go. We're, we're doing it. We're doing things. we got to get in the damage. That's 3,100. Depending on what this dude's doing over here. I don't know. Sun got yeah no that's uh that's not gonna happen. All right, going to the battle, swinging yet again for thirty one hundred, just like I said we were going to do. All right, we're in a great position now. We're just gonna go straight to the end phase, of course. Basically, uh, if he doesn't, if he's not capable of summoning something out, which I'm sure he will be able to, but we basically got him on a one turn clock. Cause all we have to do is summon this out and swing with everything we've got and we'll win. So This is looking good. Game three here, looking pretty good for us. Got to get climbing here. Got to get climbing. Got to get the gold one. Got to get the platinum. That's the goal. Setting one in the back. Could be another one of those sun god unifications bringing out what are we what are we fighting what is this deck is this another masochist player maybe just playing what he's got like it's i guess it's possible but why would he have been attacking us this whole time it doesn't make any sense to me it's got to be a bot a bot that's just crashing into us i feel like that's got to be what this is it doesn't make any sense otherwise 
I mean, we'll take it. We'll take it. You know what? Just for the heck of it, let's get this. Let's just let's get this uh, finished up a little bit quicker here. Cause now we don't even have to summon anything. We just go straight to battle and we win. This is a pretty quick game. Uh, I mean, the guy's taking his sweet time getting through his turns, but I mean, apart from that, this is a pretty quick game. We'll take it. We need what we need. What we can get. We got limited amount of time to get us to platinum. So fast duels is very much appreciated. All right, for the game, let's go. All right, excellent. We need to go get some cards. We're in super speed speed mode here to get you guys. Two legacy tickets. All right, I'll see you guys in the pack opening. All right, card keep one of your best master packs, please. All right, lots of lightning. That's good. Let's see what we get here. Super Heavy Samurai, Soul Beads, good and evil. We already have this card, not playing it. Super uh, Soaring, target one dinosaur monster that is banished or in either graveyard special summon to your field. You can only activate one of these per turn. Well, we're not playing any dinos. Vampire Familiar, uh, Performer Pale, Smile Sorcerer. Okay, cool. It's a, a one scale, so that's actually pretty good if we ever built a Pendulum deck. Um... Landwalker here. It's a machine. Uh, we would have to be playing other uh, uh, Cosmos in order to get this to work. Um, next card. We already have Salamangrate, Paro, and we already have Sanctum of Parshath, which actually having another copy of that, if we built another fairy deck that used all those cards, definitely good. All right, not too much to say about this pack, guys. Let's move on to the legacy tickets here. We have four of them to get through. Let's do it. Apparently, we missed some last uh, last uh, episode. I must have not have pulled the legacy tickets at the end. I don't remember. I, all I remember is we drew Harpy's Feather Duster, and that just kind of shut my mind down to everything else. Um, Soul Hunter, old school fusion card, never going to play it. And another Lullaby of Obedience, and it's shining again. That's hilarious. Um, next... We have an avatar of the pot. Send one pot of greed from your hand to the graveyard. Draw three cards. Ha! Huh, that's funny. If we could play that, that would be great. But no, we can't. Flint missiles. Not going to worry about that. Destroy one monster. With... Yeah, no. Next card. Please. Next pack, please. Next cards. Let's get through it, guys. Utopia is crashing through. Let's go. Going to gold. If it's going to mean anything, it's yet to be seen. An Eagle Shark? That's a very interesting... I've never seen this. If your opponent controls two or more monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. Uh, if you control a Panther Shark, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but it's a normal summon, not a special summon, so that's not going to be uh, n useful. No entry. Change all attack position monsters to defense position. maybe we maybe we play that <laughs> in all honesty um think about it if we change all of our opponents monsters, we're gonna play that if we change all of our opponents monsters to defense position and swing with rda and we clear their entire board that will be sick all right next card uh mirage true uh mirage tube this card cannot be activated or yeah cannot be activated from your hand activate only when a face-up monster you control is sent as an attack target, or what's selected as an attack target, inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. Uh, that is very weird. Never going to play that. Uh, the Worm Demickles? I have never seen this card. Flip, this card gains 300 attack and defense. Okay. Okay. Um... All right, yeah, let's go and put that one card in the deck, guys. Uh, I think that'll actually be kind of funny. Uh, we'll just go through this way so it's quicker. Edit deck. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, this. Cha I think this is worth it. I think it's worth it. Um, what do we take out? 
you know what? Let's just we'll run a 43 card deck. That's fine. Save. Let's go get into the next duel, guys. All right, guys, we won the coin toss. We're going first just because, well, look at this. We have like a ton of traps. So, yes, it's a good thing we won first. No entry. It's good. We already have it. Um, Dimension Slice. We have our Glimmer card here and Dogmatic Punishment. This is what's probably going to save us through turn two uh, a little bit. Um, we're just going to set everything here like so. Um, we are not going to summon our Hat Tricker. That's, that's pointless. We need our level fours to go into our extra deck, so... This is going to be an interesting play. I have a feeling we're playing a Blue Eyes player. Every Everything's lining up here. Uh, or he's playing Photons. I don't know. He's taking his sweet time. That's what he's doing. Alright, activating reinforcements of the army. Okay, he's bringing out a level four warrior to his hand. Yep, that's a photon. Okay, yeah, he's got to be playing photon dragons. The photon deck. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Still hasn't normal summoned, so... That looks like a normal summon. Or not. It's just it's just another Okay. Bringing out Galaxy Soldier. Okay. This is a pretty, pretty interesting opening hand of our opponents, that's for sure. I kind of have a plan of what we need to do in order to get past him, depending on where he goes, of course. Um, we might be saving uh, no entry here for a minute. I don't know. I don't know what we're, what we're dealing with as far as where he's going from here. Uh... I'm surprised he's not going into some Xyz here, the level 4s. I know the Photon stuff has some level 4 stuff, um, but I don't see any way of him making any of these level 8 yet, so to go into his higher monsters, not going to happen unless he's got some spell in his hand that's going to do it, but I feel like he would have done it already. I think he's just trying to figure out what exactly to do in his situation. What is this? Special summon. Uh, this token cannot attack or be used as synchro material. Okay. But it can go into Xyz material and link material, so. I don't know what this dude's dude's contemplating here. Alright, here here he goes. Going into the link. Okay. During your opponent's main phase, we'll perfect you and discard one. Discard. Uh, okay. Galaxy Zero. Target one galaxy monster in your graveyard, social summon in attack position. Okay. It cannot attack or activate its effects. That's fine. That's fine. Alright. It's attributing that away. That's fine. 
you can go into a XZ's five rank five here. That's what he's going to do. <laughs> that's that's gone right now. That is absolutely gone right now. We are not even going to. We're not even going to wait for the Nova. The Nova. The yeah. We're not waiting for that. Absolutely not. Unfortunately, we're going to have to take the the 2K here, but that's fine. All right, now we just start picking his board apart bit by bit. Draw here, curry bonds. All right, that's that's good. That's it. This is actually really good. Um, special summon this. Uh, we activate the dimension slice. We're gonna send this away. Then we're going to bring out the curry bonds. Why can't we go into a extra deck monster? What's going on? Is this preventing us? I don't know. That's really annoying. Why, what? We should be able to go into one. I don't understand. Uh, during the opponent's main turn, target one, target one, you can only use. Uh, if it would be destroyed by battle or card effect during the battle phase, you can destroy the face up, please. I, I don't. Uh, I'm missing something here, apparently, guys. I'm missing something. No worries. We're just going to go to battle. We are just going to swing into this. Get it off the field, main two, and uh, we will pass. That's that's fine. That's that's not good. We're going to activate this right now. Um. We're just going to banish this. Why not? Nothing we can do. Apparently that still works, even though it's not in the back row anymore. But okay, I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's, it just destroys all spells and traps. It doesn't matter. No big deal. Yep, he had to go for the hat tricker, of course. Scrap beast, great. Can't do anything with that, unfortunately. Just go to end phase. That's really annoying. I was, we really, the, the plan was to get the predator out and kill this, steal it, but apparently something blocked us from being able to To synchro summon it doesn't make any sense. All right, Cyber Dragon, we will 1000% summon this out. Go to battle. Get this off the field. End turn. All right, we're looking good. That's that's at least progress right there at least clearing his board if he keeps bricking and can't do anything then we're looking solid setting a back row okay I swear it better not be mirror force miss valley soldier okay okay we're just gonna bring this out we are not going into an extra deck monster we're just gonna swing for damage that's what we need All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. We've caught him up to our life point threshold. Um, and I believe that's going to be the game, guys. It should be the game. Uh, yeah, we're just going to summon this out. We're just going to go to battle. Battle. 
All right, guys, we we made a full 180 on that one, pulled that one out. Our trap card is definitely helpful. The two that we were at least able to use against our opponent. Let's go pull another pack, guys. All right, here we go. Another pack card keep. Give us some good cards. Let's see what we get. First one, Ancient Warriors Saga. Uh, you must send this card to the graveyard during your second standby phase after activation. Once per turn during your main phase, toss a coin. If the result is heads, send this card to the graveyard. If, it, uh, if this card is sent from the spell trap zone to the graveyard, you can activate this effect this turn. Your opponent cannot activate card effects in response to the activation of your Ancient Warriors. Yeah, this is all Ancient Warrior stuff. Not going to pay it too much mind. Heritage of the Light. Uh, if a monster is Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, or Xyz Summon, while a monster with the same card type is on the field, you can draw one card. You can only use the effect of this once per turn. Okay, now hold up. Let's think about it for a minute. Do we have... Do we... I mean, we. This it's a potential. It's a potential. We would have to get multiple synchros out on the same... Like, at the same time. It is possible. It's not very plausible, unfortunately. So... But we... I guess we could switch this in for pot of uh, the jar of greed, I should say, because that gets us one card where this could technically potentially get us more. Uh, you know, no, I don't think so. It's if I don't know. Odd eyes, persona dragon. We already have this. Uh, definitely goes into our pendulum pile. Uh, uh, target one water monster you control and two water monsters in your graveyard. Shuffle the first target into the deck, and if you do, add the second targets to your hand. It's actually pretty good. Not going to lie. Uh, water deck potential. Uh, this is a predator plant card. Let's see what it do. Uh, target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Place a predator plant counter on it. Uh, yeah, just forget it. Uh, chain ignition. Okay, once per turn, if your opponent... If a monster your opponent controls is destroyed by, wait, if a monster your opponent controls is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. I mean, that does kind of happen, but, okay, trap tricks, okay, okay, and we already have that. All right, uh, not a whole lot to say about this one, um, so we're just going to move on. We do have a legacy tickets to go pull, so let's go do that real quick. Let's see what we get. All right, here we go. Uh, that's a ritual monster that we're never going to summon, and uh, this has to do with uh, wind monsters. Cannot be special summon. All face-up wind monsters on the field lose 500 attack. Uh, that would be really ridiculous for us to try to play. All right. Let's go jump into the next duel, guys. All right, guys, we won the coin toss again. Going first. Let's get it. Lost Wind. Good card. We got, we got some good cards in our hand. Unfortunately, I don't think I want to activate the Danger Thunderbird. We will set the Lost Wind, at least. I guess we're going to risk it. We're going to risk it. Of course it hits itself. Well, it is what it is. We're just going to summon the Curry Bonds because we can at least negate attacks with its. And if they somehow get past it and declare a direct attack, we can send out the Speed Roy Menko. So, uh, all right, end turn. Good to go. All right, Finn, what do you have for us? You have a 40 card standard deck, 15 standard extra deck. What are you up on? Let's let's think here. Let's see it. Guys, right now, if you're enjoying the episode so far, hit a like. Just hit the like button. Just do it. I think we're doing pretty good today. We are speeding through things. Trying to get to that platinum. We are playing Blackwing. Uh... We're just gonna we're just gonna loss win this. I'm 
no effect for him. Hopefully that just threw a big wrench in his plan. That would be great. It's been a, it's been a hot moment since we've played an actual Blackwing player. And we've definitely never played it with this deck before. So I'm actually very curious to see how our new deck fares against Blackwing. Battle phase. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll just chew 18. Or I'll chew 800, bud. And then that way I can keep my tuner. All right. Mm. All right, check this out, guys. Check this out, guys. This is nuts. Gonna go to the Predator. Go to battle. Swing into his Blackwing Dragon. Why can't we steal the Blackwing Dragon? What's going on? Um, when this destroys a monster by battle and sends the graveyard, you can special summon that monster to your side of the field. Why can't we do that? That's... That's jank. I, what the heck happened? All right, well, whatever. It is what it is. Can't do much about it. That's really annoying, though, because that was the whole plan. Like, steal his card. It comes back out. Did we just, like, break the game? Because when we killed it, it was at 1,400, and if we summoned it back out, it would have been a normal creature again. But that's a weird interaction if that's how that worked. But that would have been a sick play, taking his his dragon and smacking him in the face with 2,800. Like, how nuts would have that been, guys? That would have been sick. It is what it is. We move on. He's only setting one card. All right, that's that's a good card for us to have, for sure. Um, we do need to just get in as much possible damage as possible. So we're just going to go in here. We'll swing with the 1k. And we'll swing with the Predator. Alright. Sweet. Main phase 2. Set our trap. Pass. <sighs> Next turn we can uh, use this to target this. Uh, and then use this to go into our black ship. Make a very powerful black ship. Okay, he's shuffling. He is synchro summoning. Okay. That's not good. We're going to bring this out right now from the graveyard. Ooh, this is kind of a nail biter because I know the Black Wing's potential to come back and destroy us. He is called by the grave. That's not going to help you, dude. You can't target our lost wind. What are you going to target? Target the target the thunderbird. Do not target our level 4, please. What did he target? I didn't see it. I missed it. Okay, sure, DD Crow. All right, well, there goes our lost win. That's really annoying. There goes our Thunderbird. Okay, that's fine. We are 
okay with that outcome. Unfortunately, we lost our Lost Wind. Kind of needed that, but it is what it is. Can't do much about it. He is now a level two. At least he can't get the Baron with that that quickly. Unfortunately, there goes that. And there goes our trap card. Back to back times, man. Back to back times that we, we were able to use that card. He they our opponent had the the feather duster. That's insane. Alright, it is what it is. All we need now is another either a level four or a tuner. A level four tuner would be good. Okay. Sure, why not? Burn me for it. Whatever, that's fine. And here comes the assault dragon. That's not good. That, that might just be game right there, because I don't know if we have a real good way of getting over that. We're gonna special summon... Is there a point to special summoning that? Yes, we're gonna special summon this out. We're gonna activate Druid Swarm, targeting the DD Crow. Bring this out, right? We're gonna go to battle. We're gonna swing to clear his black wing here. Main two. And we're gonna go into cross sheep. Activate Drew Swarm pop his assault dragon get rid of that end phase that's all we can do let's hope he can't make a comeback he probably can blackwing is a pretty cons pretty good consistent deck whirlwind end phase okay he i guess he bricked I, I don't want to use that just in case we can get a level 7 on the field. We can get our own Blackwing monster out. We will swing. We will end turn. Okay. He's gambling a little bit. That's fine. Two level twos. Now he can go into a level six. It's not good. Or he can do that and bring out another dragon. I don't even know what we're even capable of bringing out at this point. Now he can go into Baron. If he goes into Baron, it's over. But, you know, if, oh no, he's going into full metal, or full armor master, okay. Uh, that's just as bad, so... That's, that's the game, guys. Well, it is what it is. Alright, guys, we lost the coin toss, but our opponent let us go first. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to summon out the Mother Spider gonna go into the Delta Flyer and then from there we are going to go let's actually go into this go 
Go into our uh, frame lord. Set the broken line. Set torrential tribute. And uh, end phase. Johnny looks like he's having a little bit of connection issues. Maybe he's a little bit afraid of the frame lord Omega. Doesn't look like it. It looks like he drew. He is playing Despia. Okay. All right. He's bouncing a lot of cards from his hand. We are going to do this. Now we activate the Torrential Tribute. And, uh, okay, now he's got to activate that again, because apparently that has multiple effects that he can just activate, of course. <laughs> of course! Why not, right? Why not? Cool. Well, he's doing 32 to us. And at this point, I don't know what we summon in order to get over that. Uh, Drillfish would be good. Drillfish would be great. This thing needs to go away. Holy moly, that that is a problem. We need a Harpy's Feather Duster for that. Back to square one, Curry Bonds. Okay, Curry Bonds is good too. Curry Bonds is good. In all honesty, that might be our best play. We're just going to do this again. Uh, do we want to summon out the... I don't think we want to summon out the Cyber Dragon in all honesty. No, we don't want to do that. Too late though. Uh, summon this out. Yeah, there's no point in any of that. All right, that's that's gonna be our turn right there. Let's uh, let's hope that he doesn't swing into the cyber dragon. Let's hope that he is stupid and was like, oh, let's get the attack position, curry bonds. Hopefully our Omega is messing with his hand enough to where he really can't do much without the card that we sent. He's going to the battle. All right, do the dumb thing. Do the dumb thing. Do the dumb thing. Nope, he didn't do it. Unfortunate for us, very unfortunate. That's why he did it though. He, he wanted to do that. Cool. Half counter is really good. All right, we're going to bring back the Omega. Um, we're going to set the half counter and we're just going to end it there.
So now if he attacks the Omega, we activate half counter and pop his card. If he attacks the Curry Bonds, we just pay 800 to stop the attack. Okay, he's bringing Ecclesia out. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll stop it from happening. There goes his normal summon, so now it's just back in the court of him attacking us. Which does he choose? He's gonna go for the, the Omega. That's the smart play. He just thinks he's gonna wipe us out right here. Not today, son. Let's go. Half counter. That's what we got to do. Gonna activate this now. Blossom's gone. I wish their card stayed in <laughs> in banishment and our card came back. That's how that card should work. All right, but we at least know he has an Ash Blossom now. Activate Ecclesia to bring it back. Whatever. All right, good card here. Good card here. Come on. Jurgetto. Not bad. Not bad at all. Gonna bring this back. We're gonna just summon the Jurgetto. Uh, and we are going to go into the Predator. There we go. We're gonna go to battle. We'll swing. Take it, we'll take it. Put it here. We'll swing and we'll swing again. Doing lots of damage over here. All right, we are looking, we are in a really good position right now. Um, I don't think we want to do any of that. We'll go to end phase. We're looking really strong here, guys. We're looking really strong. Can this be our ticket into gold one? I think we've been playing this fairly good, in all honesty. This is the first time we've been using Omega. I think we've been doing pretty good. We have a tuner. We have a level four tuner, so. <laughs> uh, yes, we're gonna activate this right now because uh, there's no point not to. gonna bring out the Fallen of Albaz. We're gonna get rid of the Ash Blossom yet again. This could become problematic, unfortunately. This this could be an issue. He had two Ash Blossoms in hand, good to know. Uh, you know, having a opponent uh, hand knowledge is very good. Unfortunately, he's taking our Predator away. He's bringing out the Mirror Jade. And I'm pretty sure that's game. I 
Maybe I guess we should have kept Omega on the field. We would have been alive. Wow, guys, what a... The tables have tabled, and the turns have turned. That's for sure. This this duel was a good one. This was a good one. I'm not even mad at this one. That, that was a good duel. We actually did really good in that one. All right, guys, let's get to the next one. All right, guys, we won the coin toss. We're going first. And look at this. Didn't didn't we just play this guy? Knock jod or knock dodged. I don't even know how to say that. But it, it's the same, you know, just over 40 cards, 15 in the extra deck. It's the same. We just fought this guy not that, that like two, two or three duels ago. I think it was like two duels ago. It's fine with me. It's fine with me. We're going to set the Dimension Slice. We're going to set Dogmatic Punishment. Uh, and then we're going to pass, because I don't want to lose anything that we summon out. We have a Special Summon. We have our, our one dude here. We have a, a Level 4 Tuner. Like We have so much potential that we can go into next turn, depending on what he does. We can bring out the Hat Tricker, go into our Soldier, go for a Synchro, or go for... Our hat trigger, go with the uh, challenger here and go into a black ship, a 3,100 attack black ship that can just send anything basically from the field to the grave. We have a lot of potential here. I'm pretty sure this, I don't know, I don't know if this, this is a bot or not. Like, it would be really weird if it was a bot, in all honesty. He was playing Digital World? I don't remember. Or Virtual World. He was playing Virtual World. I've never seen a Virtual World bot before. Maybe this guy is a real guy and he's going for redemption here. What is this? If your defense position is a Okay, he's like a super heavy samurai now. I, maybe it's a bot. I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Battle phase. Yeah, that's funny. I'm pretty sure it's a bot because who, what bot in their right mind attacks like this? Unless he's got another effect when attacking. I don't, it doesn't seem like it. Bots just, some bots are just programmed to attack for no reason. So, uh, guys, if, if I feel like this is a bot, I'm just going to skip to the end where we beat him right now. All right, guys, this was absolutely a bot. <laughs> took forever to get through his turns just crashed into us with uh, another one of these so absolutely a bot we'll take it I don't understand what they okay they're gonna activate this okay I guess I should have read that card a little bit better but you know it is what it is gonna summon this out doesn't matter <laughs> doesn't matter all right guys let's go pull us a master pack all right guys here we go another master pack let's see what we get in this one anything useful maybe more than likely probably not uh, Magician of Black Chaos, the OG Magician of Black Chaos. Awesome card to see pulled, never going to use it. Uh, we already have the Dragon Revival. Um, Evil Swarm, okay, flip, target one special summon monster on the field, shuffle that target into the deck. Actually, a decent way to bounce our opponent. It's got really good defense, too. Wow. Um, that, that could be an option, level four. It's good uh, XZ's monster slash synchro material. So sprite red. Okay. Uh, dark mamble. What? If you control three or more dark monsters, target one face up card on the field. Banish that target. It's actually pretty decent, Um, but kind of niche for our deck. So we already have a devouring sarcophagus. Not going to play that. Update jammer. Okay, let's check it. Two level two or higher cyber monsters. Say no more. And a Beta the Electromagnetic Warrior. That is our third Magnetic Warrior uh, monster card. So that's pretty cool. Um, Got to say, out of all of these cards, kind of the Evil Swarm is kind of, uh, kind of an interesting choice there. But uh, I don't think we're going to play any of those. So 
let's move on to the legacy tickets, guys. We got, I think, a couple here. Yeah, we got two. So let's pull these real quick. First pack. Good amount of lightning. Let's go. Uh, the Unhappy Maiden, very old school effect monster, never going to play it. And this is a the Fiendish Monarch here. When this card is Tribute Summon, you can banish one spell, or, spell card on or from your graveyard. Add one card with the same name as that banished card from your deck to your hand. Kind of interesting. Really cool card art. Not going to play it. Next pack, please. All right, Cactus Fighter, that's hilarious. Some good stats. Uh, definitely going our plant deck, probably. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, special summon one needle token uh, to your opponent's side of the field in defense position. It's kind of funny. Um, next is uh, <laughs> the Sandwich. <laughs> uh, not going to be playing that anytime soon, or actually ever, um, but really funny to see. Uh, out of all of these, the uh, the Monarch is pretty cool. Definitely cool art. Love it. Um, let's move on. Uh, I don't think we're going to make any edits to the deck. So let's go get into the next duel, guys. We're pushing. All right, guys. We have won the coin toss. We're going first. So let's see what we got here. Don't, we don't really have a whole lot, unfortunately. Three to the extra deck, but this is definitely not a bot because the, the whole field has been customized. I guess we set our two and we pass. I don't really don't think it's the greatest idea to play any of our monsters because they're both tuners. We definitely don't want to use the red resonator because he can special summon a level four out for us. We could go into like Predator or something. Dude's up on playing Dark Magician, so we're probably not going to win this. Depending, we're gonna we're gonna do our best here. But he's just summoning out the Mahad. Um. Oh, he's he's special summoning out. Okay. Uh, doing the the magical circle here. So that's something. taken forever to figure out what he's doing but you know there, okay there is the illusion magic tribute one spellcaster monster add up the two copies of dark magician from your deck or graveyard to your hand that's interesting i don't think i've ever seen anybody play that before but okay we'll do what we gotta do piercing the darkness all right set one probably Eternal Soul is what I'm going to guess is what it is, uh, which is unfortunate for us because we can't uh, do anything about it right now. All right, um, Orange Sunset, that's good. That's good for us. Good to see. Um, we're going to Special Summon Sunset here. Activate this to banish the Mahad. That way it's not destroyed. Um We're gonna we're gonna go to the Croco Dragon. Just because I don't wanna burn RDA just yet. And this way we can at least get some card advantage. We can draw two more. Or draw one more, I should say. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, we'll go to battle. We'll swing for 25. There we go. Turn main two. Let's see. Uh, we don't want to do Thunderbird. No way do we want to do Thunderbird right now. So we're just going to pass it over to him. He's going to draw... All right, the thing is, is does he have Eternal Soul? Does he have a Dark Magician that he can bring out? Mm -hmm. 
No, we're not going to do that right now. Not a chance. It's either we pop the magical circle with it, potentially, or we pop an eternal soul. That way we can destroy his entire monster board that he sets up. We don't want to do it a moment too soon. We need to save our effect for when we really need it. There's the eternal soul. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. All right. He's going to activate the illusion magic. He's going to tribute one. If he brings out the dark magician... He's going to add it to his hand, obviously, but he can't activate the Eternal Soul just yet. Okay, end phase. It's fine. Delta Flyer, that's good. I can't imagine him... Again, I don't. We, obviously, we're not going to. We're not going to do anything as far as cards here. He's going to activate the Eternal Soul. We're going to activate the Croco Dragon here. We're going to pitch the Flyer and. that and we're going to get rid of the eternal soul that way he can't summon out the dark magician and then we swing for two all right looking pretty good looking pretty good uh let's see this is a what does this come out as this is a level whatever the level is Okay, I have I have a play next turn. We use this, pitch our Thunderbird, summon the Red Resignator, go... Well, actually, no, that's too much. That's too much. Because our level 10s are specific. We can summon out the, the Mech Knight as a level. And then we can Red Resignator into RDA and finish this. What did he pick? He probably has the Eternal Soul. It's fine. I think uh, I think we basically win at this point. We're gonna activate this. gonna bring this out we can get rid of that uh, summon this we have to keep lost wind and pot in our hand special summon the RDA of course there we go and now that's going to force him to use that. We activate this. We pitch these. We target that. Hopefully that effect doesn't go through now that it's off. There we go. Battle phase. We win, guys. Let's go pull a pack. Let's do it. That was a well-deserved win. We just beat Dark Magician. All right. Croco Dragon was the savior of that duel. That is for sure. All right. We've got a legacy ticket. All right, guys. Let's pull some cards. All right. Card keep. One of your finest master packs, please. All right. We got some gold. That's good. See what we get. 
All right, first card here. Oh, wow. All right, Sword Soul. This is absolutely amazing. We just need uh, another Soul Sword card and a Baron Fleur. That's what we need. <laughs> this is absolutely good, though. That That is a great pull. Uh, we already have the Terror King, Archfiend. Never going to play that card. Overwind here, target one face up, wind up monster you control, say no more. And another copy of the CXYZ Dark Fairy Cheer Girl. This time it is a gloss, which looks nice, but again, not playing it. Uh, this is a Thunder Dragons, uh, you know, target one Thunder Monster in your graveyard special summon it. We're not playing any Thunders, and it also has Thunder Dragon support. Not going to worry about it. Gold Pride, okay. Uh, two gold pride monsters with different levels, which we don't have, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Three-Eyed Ghost. Interesting. This is probably a very old card. You can send this card from the field to the graveyard. Add one level 10 dark monster from your deck to your hand. Actually, this is a pretty good effect. Uh, you can only use this effect uh, once per turn, so okay. And our... Secret rare card here, number 73, Abyss Splash. Two level five monster, water monsters specifically needed for this. Once per turn, quick effect, detach one material from this card. Double this card's attack until the end of your opponent's turn. Also, any battle damage it inflicts to your uh, opponent this turn is halved. Um, really cool art, like it. Probably will add it to a water deck, but probably won't be useful. So, I don't know, we'll see. Someday, maybe. All right, guys, I think the, the honestly, the biggest takeaway from this is the Sword Soul here. That would be amazing if we can somehow add that to our deck and utilize it. All right, guys, let's go pull us our one legacy ticket and we will move on from there. Let's get it. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. First one, Castle Walls, old school trap card. One of the the first uh, trap cards printed. One of them uh, was in the you know the early de uh, like Kaiba and Yugi decks and all that. Uh, increase a selected monster's attack by 500 points during the turn. This card is activated. Uh, it is not going to be useful for us. Um, Judgment of Anubis, also very old school counter trap card. Not going to be useful, I don't think, for us. Let's go get into the next duel, guys. All right, lost a coin toss. Going second. Not a bad hand for going second. Uh, the thing is, though, Pot of Desires. Okay, then. Um, that's never a good sign. Um, the problem with our hand, though, is we don't have a level four, like a plain level four. We have three tuners in our hand and a mother spider. Looks like we're playing Sword Soul. All right, well, dude just chopped half his deck, so. All right, guys, lost the coin flip, going second. We have two of our tuners in our hand, a level two and a level four. Primitive Butterfly, looking good. TG Drillfish, looking good. What the, what was it, what was that? Missed it. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Okay, then. Alright, he's setting one. Activating Pot of Desires. Setting another card. Oh, True Dracos? Okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, how do we want to do this? We can make this a six. That would go into an eight. That'd be, be kind of pointless. Five to a nine. We could bring out a Croco Dragon again. Um, six. 
mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's probably the best play here. Do this. Mist Valley Soldier. There can only be one. That's nice. That's not going to help you in this situation, my dude. All right. Activate the effect of the Croco Dragon. What's this? All right, that's nice. We're going to go to battle. We're going to swing into his monster to do damage, of course. Excellent. Main two, we will set Torrential, nerf ourselves just a little bit, and then we'll pass. All right, so far so good with this duel. His card is going to activate its effect. He's going to flip. That's not good. We are going to activate this. We're going to send this and we're going to send our drillfish friend here to pop the there can only be one. And then we're also going to activate the torrential to clear his board. We probably could have waited on that, but it is what it is. Summon limit. Okay. I see. He's trying to floodgate us. He was trying to floodgate us. There can only be one. And then that. That way there can only be literally one monster on the field. It was a nice try. He's going to again bring out an Ignis Heat. It's kind of annoying. Um, set, and, hmm, I think we set this one, pass, spellcaster, let me reread that one card real quick. Each player can only control one type of monster. Send all our face type. Okay, control. Okay, that's okay. This could be a problem for us, guys. Unfortunately. We'll take the damage. All right, one time for the one time. Harpy's Feather Duster, let's go, let's get it. Right now, that's what we need, is our Harpy's Feather Duster. Cyber Dragon, that's that's not a Harpy's Feather Duster, unfortunately. Um, activate this. Uh, what level do we need though at that point? Level four? Level three. No, I think what we want. Oh, what do we want? Oh, level fives. Uh, two to seven. Predator. Predator is pretty good. It doesn't help us. All right, we do need. We need a level five. Got 17 left. He'll so dr draw or activate. That'll make it. Oh, 
Man, this is really annoying. Stupid floodgate decks. Am I right or am I right? I mean, come on. Come on, we need our Harvey's Feather Duster. One time for the one time. Like, come on. Before we're dead, preferably. You know what I mean? Like, come on. This is... Very absurd. <sighs> yeah, we... Man, I don't know. I guess maybe we preemptive our uh, torrential tribute a little bit too soon there. That's another cyber dragon. That's going to be the game, guys. So I will see you in the next one. All right, guys, we won the coin toss, so we're going first. Oh, look, there's our Harpy's Feather Duster. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Yeah, they better not be playing Labyrinth. What do they got in their hand? It's got to be Max C. I I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense, right? We're going to special summon Primitive Butterfly. We can increase it to a 6. That doesn't make any sense. Let's bring this out. And we're just going to go to Red... We're going to go... Actually, no. We're going to go into our Frame Lord. And that is how we're going to mess with our opponent. Not quite yet, but we'll mess with them. Imperm. Well, I guess we're going to activate this right now. really what was that wannabe what the heck uh, labyrinth dinomorphia are we playing a masochist is labyrinth dinomorphia fusion a thing I don't think it is all right Delta Flyer. Let's go. Let's go. What do we got in there? Nothing in there. We are going to absolutely Harpy's Feather Duster. They're behind. Yeah, you do some damage to yourself. That's fine with me. Interesting thing going on here. It's definitely got some Dynamorphia stuff going on. Mixed with Labyrinth, though. It's so odd. I'm gonna activate our Druid Swarm, and uh, we're gonna bounce this thing.
All right, um, from here, we summon out the Javelin. We could absolutely go into that. That would be great. But we're going to go into RDA. There we go. Activate this. Target this. That's fine. Um, go into battle. We're going to crash into this. We'll take some damage, but it is going to pop it. Go to here. Activate this. Bounce that. End phase. Skill drain, evenly matched, impact or intact. Grave diggers trap hole. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. It's gonna pay to get a little bit more uh, life points to his Dinomorphia, but that's fine. Okay. Half counter. We've got it in the bag, guys. We've got it in the bag. We will set this. We will set this and we'll pass. What is this? That's that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. Activate this, I guess. It doesn't really matter. We'll just make him believe that he's going to kill us. <laughs> we have half counter. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That attack equals a half. That actually is not going to work for us. Because this thing's original attack actually is... Okay, no, it's originally 4,000. I'm, I'm an idiot. That's all right, that's all right. We're going to make him believe that that was the only thing we're trying to save. He's going to he's gonna attack into that. We're going to have a whole nother turn to mess with his head. being attacked so we can't attack them they have to attack us we just drew lost wind this is definitely gg for our mans over here all right uh we're just gonna set one and pass set one and pass he's just making it that much easier for us guys he's making it that much easier or is he destroying us. Is that what that does? 
No, he's targeting one. What is this? Okay, never mind. Okay. Sure. <coughs> sure. It's fine. We got this one in the bag, and he doesn't even know it. Activate Lost Wind. Resolve. That's the game. That's the game, guys. Sorry for the mic explosion. I'm just very happy we beat Dinomorphia for once. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go pull us another master pack. Uh, let's see what we got. We got two legacy tickets. Let's go get some cards, guys. All right. Master pack time. And it's all shining rainbow. You are. Let's go. And lots of lightning strikes. And utopic future coming through. Let's go. Raid Raptor. All right. Once per turn, you contribute one Raid Raptor monster. Then target one rank up magic spell card in your graveyard. Add it to the hand. You can uh, also you cannot X Y Z for the rest of the turn except with the effect of rank up magic. All right. Next card here. Oh, there's our you are. Um, Pharaonic Advent. Uh, gains 300 attack for each continuous trap on the field and in the graveyards. Wow. You can only use the following effects once per turn. You contribute one monster. Special summon this card from your hand. Uh, you contribute one fairy fiend or reptile monster. Add one continuous trap from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn. That's actually pretty interesting. Um, there might be a way that we could mess around with that, but right now I think our normal strategy is just better than anything we've ever had before. Flame Vel Fiend. Um, if this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each pyro monster in the graveyard. Maybe we put this in our burn deck. That would be really good. Uh, it has to be Pyro Monster, though, so maybe not. Uh, another Heroic Challenger card. That's interesting. Definitely is a good card for our Warrior deck. Cause we would definitely be playing both of our Heroic Challengers at that point. Uh, because both of their effects are really good. Um, I don't see us putting this in our deck, though. That we currently have just because we only have the other one card. So, all right. Uh, this is a goatee card. We're not going to worry about it. Um, Gravekeepers, Cannon Holder. Uh, we're not playing, again, we're not playing Gravekeepers. Drytron, we're not doing anything with Drytrons. And Call of the Atlanteans. Um, well, unfortunately, we're not doing with any of that either. Uh, overall, I think the. Uh, Deck was the pack was okay, but nothing here is anything useful for us right now. So let's go pull us those legacy tickets and see what we can come up with here. First pack here, let's go. First card, let's see it. We have contact. Uh, this is a chrysalis uh, card, not going to worry about it. And OG Fenrir. Um, not the piece of crap that's running around level seven uh, that you know everybody loves playing these days, but this is the o OG Fenrir, and uh, actually it's a pretty decent effect. Uh, this card cannot be normal summon or set. It can only be special summoned by removing two water monsters in your grave from play. Uh, when this card destroys an opponent's monster as a result of battle, your opponent skips his or her next draw phase. There's a way that we can lock out our opponent with this. That would be hilarious. We definitely put this in a water deck because our water deck probably isn't that great and this would be a decent thing for it. Um, next pack, next pack. Let's see the cards. We've got lots to accomplish today. Uh, Psy Impulse, uh, Tribute 1 Psychic Monster, return all cards in your opponent's hand to the deck, then they draw three cards. That's not gonna happen. Spirit of the Pharaoh, 
Uh, this is a pretty sure this is an old school zombie card. Uh, yeah, if we the first sarcophagus, this is nothing that we're going to be doing. All right, guys, let's get to that next duel. All right, guys. You already know the drill. <laughs> but again, we kind of do like going second here with this deck. More times than not. I mean, if we get a handful of traps, then yeah, going first would have been a, the ideal thing. But we do have a lot of traps now in this deck. We have a lot more than we've I think we've ever run before. Two broken lines, everything else is a one of, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve traps in this deck. Um, really Trickstar? Are we really fighting a Trickstar deck right now? It's definitely the first time I think we fought a Trickstar deck with this Masochist account. Okay, I guess we're playing Trickstar, guys. It is what it is. Are they capable of burning us, basically, until they barely have to tickle us on our turn, or or what? There's no way you're about to end phase right here. There's no way. Guys, look at this. Look at this right now. It's prime dusting season. We drew our no entry. That's pretty cool. That's fine. That's fine. Guys, it's dusting season. Must be spring cleaning time. Or or not. Or not. Man, that was a lot of good cards that we had in there. That was a lot of good cards that we needed. Alright, summon out the spitter. Mother, mother spider splitter whatever you want to call it um we're gonna bring out the jirac dino got <laughs> I can't believe it the one we get we get feather duster and the dudes just literally outs our entire hand <laughs> unbelievable now we're gonna go into battle we're gonna swing main two we're gonna set the broken line we're gonna set the dimension slice we're going to go to end phase. We will activate the drag dino. We're going to draw two cards. No, you've got to be kidding me with the called by the grave. Are you, uh, come on, what is this guy's luck? Like seriously, this is why we really needed to use the freaking Harpy's Feather Duster. That's, this is getting annoying. All right, let's see, whatever, whatever. Can't do much about it. He's gonna bring his dumb trick star back. Unfreaking real. Unreal. Did this just block us from activation? Sure, of course it did. Of course it did. Next turn, as long as our spider is still on the field, we summon Pylum, go into RDA, and we start swinging.
Okay, let's see. What else? This dude's taking forever on his turn, so maybe we win by timeout. That would be great. I'll take that. We should not even be seeing Trickstar right now. Like, who the heck plays this deck these days? Like, seriously. It's not quite as good as it used to be. Alright, they're linking. And there's the holy... Or the Holly Angel. And he's going to be able to bring that out. He's going to burn us for 400. You're not quite strong enough yet there. Right, end phase, that's good. What a bunch of crap. What a bunch of crap. Jerry Gatto, alright, that's good. That's that's actually really good. Alright, bring out the pylum. I swear if they have a response to this. Can you please let us play our turn? All right, we're going to go into the Red Dragon Archfiend. to be kidding me you have to be kidding me guys you have to be kidding me all right whatever do this you've got to be kidding me you have to be kidding me Oh, I did that wrong. I did that so wrong. I had a I had a brilliant play too. We were gonna special summon this out, go to the battle phase, special summon this out, go to main phase two, and then synchro summon again, going into frame lord, and then hitting the dimension slice to pop something. Yeah, no, you can you can shove off here. We are going to get oh, let's say a level five resolve. Put it right here, cause why not? Now, funny enough, I spent that the. Uh, that counts as a special summon, so Dimension Slice, where are you at? Why can't you activate? Uh, whatever. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. Activate this card by banishing one face up monster or one monster in graveyard. Special summon this is, oh, as a normal monster. I don't know. I don't know, guys, but uh, we're still alive. We're going to take the 200 damage, whatever. What, what are we capable of doing at this point? Oh my goodness. We're so... We have, like, all of our tuners. We can't do anything about it. Anything about it. Nothing. Let's see. 
It gains 500. That's not enough to do anything. However, it does special summon. So do this, activate this, pop this, bring this out, activate dimension slice, bounce this. All right, that's not a that's not bad for a move. That was pretty good. We're still we're still holding on here. We're it, this might be a long battle, but I think we might be able to navigate through it. Yep, they're running out of steam. It looks like a little bit. Man, they've gotten rid of so many so so many good things from us though okay we can deal we can work with that we can work with that special summon photon thrasher stuff up you cannot make this stuff up this is absolutely absurd um it just really doesn't make a difference at the end of the damage step if this card battle an opponent's monster that was not destroyed return that opponent's monster to the hand okay we're gonna take a little bit of damage guys it's fine Uh, hello? Hello? The end of the damage step is this card battles opponent's monster that was not destroyed. Return that opponent's monster to the hand. You must con- Oh, okay, okay. I messed up. Well, how the heck are you supposed to get that to resolve? You must control this face-up card to activate and resolve this effect. How the heck are you supposed to use this card then? It's the fine print, I tell you. It's the fine print. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we learn, we learn. All right. Now, at least, at least now we can do this. We will special summon this here. Um, that's going to be our play. That's all we got. That's all we got because none of our, this, this doesn't help because we can't get it to level 10. Uh, Either way, like, this doesn't help at all because there's nothing level 10 for us to get uh, other than specifics. And going into Croco Dragon is not going to be very useful. So. This card over here, man, I'm telling you. All right. Mother Spider, okay. All right, we just we just wall up here. Setting one face down. Ending the turn. Javelin. Okay. Let's think about this. Level eight. We're going to we're going to Parshaf. That way we can at least deal piercing damage. We're going to get it as far away from that column over there as possible. I swear, if this is another solemn judgment, I'm going to lose my mind. He has used two of them already.
please, please, please pass it back over to me. There we go. Okay. Um, no, we don't want to do anything there. We're going to go to battle. We're going to swing into this. All right, guys, we clutched that one out. Oh, my goodness. That had me scared there for a moment. I was like, what do we do with our hand? What do we do with our hand? Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see. Do we get any legacy tickets out of that? Please give us, like, a billion of them. All right, three of them is pretty good. All right, guys, let's go pull some more cards. We are one win away from Platinum 5, guys. Let's go. All right, card keep. Give us one of your finest master packs. Doesn't look like it, but you never know. We could really use some good rares. This is Ultra Geist support stuff. Uh, this is a uh, the X Utopia stuff. Um, Phantom Knight's Wing. Target one face up monster on the field. It gains 500 attack. Also, the first time that target would be destroyed by battle or card effect this turn, it is not destroyed. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one phantomized monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use this once per turn. <sighs> this is kind of tempting to run because it gives us one use destruction protection and gives us some attack. I don't know. You guys let me know if we should add that to our deck. Sign at back door, target one Cybers monster you control, banish it, and if you do, add one Cybers monster from your deck to your hand whose attack is lower than the monster's original attack. During your next standby phase, return that monster banished by this effect to the field, and it can attack directly that turn. That's actually pretty good um, for a Cybers deck. So This is a cubic card. We're not going to worry about uh, the cubic stuff. Um, Tenny Spirit Nahata. Um, if you control no effect monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand when an attack is declared involving your face-up non-effect monsters that an opponent uh, face-up monster. You can banish this card from your hand or graveyard. That opponent's monster loses 1,500 attack until the end of the turn. This could possibly go into our normal, uh, normal deck that we've never used. Um, if you can control no effect monsters, special summon this. I mean, it's a way to just special summon. I think we put this in our deck because it's a level four special summon at that point. <sighs> All right, uh, Curse of Dragon, my boy. I'm a big Gaia fan, so, you know, Gaia, Curse of Dragon. We got the Gaia the Dragon Champion. Um, and Express Roid. I think the best card out of here is in the Nahata, and uh, maybe the Phantom Knight's Wing is pretty good. All right, guys, uh, let's go and do the legacy tickets here. We have three of them. Let's pull them real quick. All right, the first one, we got a nice gold pack, but that probably doesn't mean too much, seeing how we only get two cards. Uh, extra Valor. Um, when, this, when your opponent special summons a monster, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card uh, from your hand. If you do, your opponent takes any effect damage you would have taken from their card's effect this turn instead. Wait, what? When your opponent special summons a monster except during the damage step. You can special summon this card from your hand. Your opponent takes any effect damage you would have taken from their card effects this turn instead. So, like, if we're playing against <laughs> the, <laughs> the, tr the trick stars that we just played against, or soul sword when they send the one dude to the graveyard to burn us like interesting that, that's not worth playing it even to that to that uh, extent a major upset tribute one face up attack position level two or lower monster return all level seven or higher special summon monsters to the hand that's that's kind of funny all right guys uh next card next pack here let's go Got to get through this. Lightning Punisher. It's a Thunder. And Photon Slasher. Uh, if a face up back these monsters on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand in face up defense position. 
not bad, but not not good enough as a special summon mechanic for us. We're not XZ's heavy, we're Synchro heavy. So, uh, Synchro Barrier, ta speaking of. Uh, tribute one Synchro monster you control. You do not take any damage until the end phase of the next turn. Interesting. That could, that could potentially save us. Uh, double defender once per turn when an opponent's monster declares an attack while you control two or more face-up defense position monsters you can target the attacking monster and negate that attack and that's not worth it all right guys next battle we have one more to get to platinum all right guys won the coin toss going first this hand we probably should have went second um all right let's see what we can we can set up here mother spider Going out. Um. Doesn't really matter now, does it? Go here. And we'll summon this out. We'll go into Let me think about this for a minute. Um We're actually just gonna go into Virgil because if he dies we at least get to draw a card. Um, yeah, if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect since the graveyard, you can draw one card. Yeah, yeah, we definitely we want that. All right, yeah, that's that's going to be our turn one here. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. Um, let's let's see here. really hard for us to get into our uh, full armor master, isn't it? We'll definitely activate that to draw a card. Oh, Photon Thrasher. Okay, not bad. Normal Summon King's Knight. Okay. Interesting. All right, special summon the Cyber Dragon. Bring out this, go to battle, swing. Swing. Phase two here. Well, this can only be used for Blackwing. I'm very much the silly. That's all right, we're gonna set this and we're gonna pass. We really need to add like another level three or a level two monster into our deck, probably like a level three. Um, actually, no, we need level three, level three, yeah, 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 yeah. We need level threes that aren't tuners that have good effects so that we can tune our level three Blackwing here with a level three and like something like a photon thrasher and go immediately into our what you call it. Fortunately, he's going to go for that. Okay, sure, that is perfectly fine with us. Jar of Greed. Broken line, okay. It's fine. Oh, 
All right, that's that's looking good. That's looking good. Uh, we are just going to go to battle here. We're gonna swing into him. Hope that he can't do that again. That would be really annoying. Looks like he might be able to. What's this? Tribute one monster, then target one. Destroy. Okay, fine. That's fine. Main two. Special out the Photon Thrasher. Summon this out. And uh, I think this is just our best option right here. And uh, we're going to set the broken line, of course. All right, guys, is this finally going to be the duel we win to get us into Platinum? That is, we have to get to Platinum. Okay, hey, look at that. Do 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 Buster, okay. Um, we're just gonna activate this. Sending our Photon Thrasher. We're gonna just pop that off the field. Go to battle. Swing for 34. Activate this. End turn. This Malevolent Sin card is fairly good in our deck with uh, having the uh, <laughs> the Challenger card attached to it. It's just, it's great. Or, you know, using it to make the, the card. I mean, it doesn't have to be attached to it for it to keep its, uh, its damage, but... All right, he is setting... Just the mother spider at that point. We're not going to waste our thing. We are going to swing at him. Now we gain up to 4,000. This is wonderful. I wonder if there's going to be a point where our opponent just scoops because our spider is too big. It'd be absolutely hilarious. All right, sunset. There we go. We can special summon this here. Then we can tribute it. Activate this, send this, pop that, go to battle, swing with our buster, and I think we just finally made it to platinum, guys, Unless, depending on what this back row is, if he can save himself somehow, but other than that, all right, my dude, what are you doing? And for the game, guys, we did it. We're entering Platinum, guys. I can't believe it. We made it. We made it to Plat. There it is, guys. Right there. Platinum 5. Getting that 200 gems. More gems. <laughs> Legacy tickets. Guys, let's go pull us some cards this is a momentous occasion we well earned this pack guys actually we technically because we moved from gold into platinum we actually get to 
pull one of the free packs available to us right now. And it looks like, okay, that's just all that. It looks like the only one uh, left for us to draw from right now is the Eldlich pack here. So we are going to pull from this because of our rule. When we go from a colored rank into another color rank, we get to pull one of the free things available to us. Gold pack, lots of lightning. Let's see what we get. Uh, Speed Roy Gum Prize. We can read these things later. Melfi Puppy. Citadel Whale. All right. Awesome card to see. Very good. Very good. Uh, wait, no. This isn't the one that I'm thinking of, actually. I'm thinking of uh, the other one that uh, lets your water monsters attack directly and blow things up in your opponent's uh, battle phase. Um, but Citadel Whale is still cool to see. Um Vampire Takeover, we already have. We get our own Golden Land Conquistador. Uh, it is a zombie, so we, maybe we could put this in the deck and there would be a fuel for our... Actually, no, I don't think it counts as a zombie in the graveyard, though. Um, anyway, moving on, Shadow Vampire. And our last card here, Vampire Sorcerer. Okay, well, that is our pack. Some pretty decent cards overall. Nothing that we're going to use right now. All right, guys. Legacy ticket. We have one legacy ticket. Here we go. <laughs> Mystic box. Wow. A Yugi classic. Uh, not, not something that we're going to run. And uh, the Dark Titan of Terror. Really old school vanilla card. Card looks pretty cool. Um, it's a fiend, but nothing that we're going to be using. So, all right, guys, we finally made it to platinum guys hit the like button, especially if you made it all the way here, but this is where we're going to cut this video. This is going to be a long one. I can already tell. Um, but we made it to platinum guys. We did it. Our new deck as it is here. Let's just pull it up right now. Cause why not? This deck is absolutely i think the best deck we've ever run um i just like no questions asked like the amount of tuning that we can do the the special summons that we can go into the the extra deck stuff like we have such good solid extra deck monsters frame lord uh full metal or full armor master which you know, we haven't been able to get to him yet. I might have to just slightly tweak the deck so we might be able to see him better. Because basically our play is like, use this to get like a level 3 or a level 2. Like, it's very convoluted for us to have to set up to get this thing out. But maybe I can work on that. Um, going into the next, uh, you know, the season um, here. I don't know if I'm going to get enough time to play in Platinum before the... Uh, the switch over happens again, but at least when it switches over, we're back in gold and we can rush to platinum guys. So, uh, yeah, this deck absolutely fire guys. If you made it all the way here again to this point in the video, just hit the like button guys. If you aren't subscribed, let this video be the reason why you subscribe. If you've been coming back to me over and over and just haven't done it yet. Uh, but anyway, guys, until next time, stay safe out there, take care. I'm Protopon. Peace.